Should I get started? I'm gonna get started. New game. Enter my name. Should I put down my real name or? No, no, uh, yeah. Okay. Hello? You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. It's a student apartment. I'm probably like uber, uber poor, but like, okay. Or you could wake up now. Now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Um. Uh. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? I got game over already? That was literally the first option. What? Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. You sleep softly as the morning sun, blah, 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 blah. The world is peaceful and serene. This is an incredibly annoying sound. Smack that clock up and at him. Let's go. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy of Learning. Very creative name there. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and but, and you find your imagination getting away from you. Uh, no, no, I'm not making the mistake again. I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth, brush, hair, combed, pits, deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. I mean, that's a decently good looking biscuit. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. I'm not doing voices, by the way. I'm... I don't have enough energy for that, nor the voice for that. Good morning, Emmett. Are you excited for the first day of, for the rest of, of the rest of our lives? Fuck, I can't speak. Actually, I'm... Because I sure am. Excited? A little nervous? Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that. This morning, I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? What does love taste like? Oh, don't cry. I just know she's crying. Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together, you and you rescued me from that quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. That's supportive. But why why is there a quicksand box? Why? But with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? I'm not a gossip fan. I don't like gossip. Let's pep talk. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot, car tarot cards read? It's tarot. Uh, the lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? Is this foreshadowing? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. 
As you talk Mirian up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? Yes, yes I can. I can believe that. <laughs> yeah, see, the game knows. <laughs> uh, I cannot believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. What's- Hey! You leave Emmett shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. I- I agree. My shins are normal, if not slightly above average. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You can- you know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that That's so true, though. Like, a lot of names just have unnecessary letters in them. A-E-S-H-L-E-I-G-H. Like, that's so... That's a lot. That's too much, man. If anyone here knows what Perfect Shins looks like, it's us. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. That is a weird insult. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, <laughs> okay, uh, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rockin' glutes. I wanna s what does he look like? Oh, shit. <laughs> this is a Chad! This is not Van Van Von Man Man, this is just a Chad! I'm calling you Chad, dude. <laughs> You barely have anything on! You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van- Sorry, Ashley and Chad have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Ooh, come back. I, I'm not doing- I would do a voice. I'm not doing a voice. Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Chad's talking smack. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. You can, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Yeah, let's, let's see those two losers later. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. This is a dumb-looking kid. Why? Ugh. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. No, 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 no. I think you mean thank you. Yeah, you do mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my pop pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Okay. Hi, pop. I'm Emmett. So, are you gonna make me hold the door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? That's a dumb looking kid. I think it's just you. Yeah, that's a. Ugh. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit chatting. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium in front of the class. Adorable. Now, now, oh no, there's, oh no, there's talking animals in this game. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? That is a very fair question. You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute, little, and fluffy, but I still demand respect. 
Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Okay, that's... okay. Fair reasoning. <laughs> um, out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around as he swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the- <gasps> Colonel Sanders, is it him? Is it him? I'm chilly, someone close the window. And then- <gasps> It's him, it's him, guys, it's him, it's him. Uh <laughs>